Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you all a very easy curry chicken recipe and today I'm using the Aptiz curry blend. If you guys have known about Aptiz, they are a roti shop from back in the day and they no longer are in business but they do still sell their famous curry. So I'll leave their information down in the description box for everyone. So to make this, it's going to be a very easy simple recipe to follow. So firstly, we're going to start with our washed and seasoned chicken and we're going to add salt and black pepper to taste. In goes some chopped tomatoes, chopped onions, minced garlic and some chopped celery and scythe. Next goes in some green seasoning. The recipe which can be found down in my description box and some pimento peppers or seasoning peppers. Next you want to give this a good mix. You want to make sure that all of those seasonings properly coat your pieces of chicken. If you wanted to add a hot pepper in here, feel free to. So to a pot on a medium low heat, I'm going to add in some oil. To that oil, I'm going to add in some jira seeds and some fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek is also known as meaty in Trinidad. You can find it in Trinidad on any supermarket or on Amazon. Once they have a nice brown color, add in some sliced onions and some chopped pimento peppers and allow that to get a dark brown color. This is just building extra flavor guys. So for the Aptis curry, they suggest using 2 tablespoons of curry for every 3 pounds of meat. So look how amazing that looks. You can see all of the curry leaves in there. That's one thing I like about this curry. In goes the curry. Make sure your heat is on a medium low guys or a low. You do not want to burn your curry. You're going to toast your curry for about 1 minute until it feels very grainy. Now once it feels grainy, we're going to go in with some water to help cook the curry. And we're going to cook the curry until it turns into a thick paste and the oils start separating from the curry. Now this takes about 2-3 to three minutes to happen. After which, you'll add in your chicken pieces. So toss to coat in that delicious curry. You want to make sure all of your pieces are coated well. Now at this point in time, you'd want to crank your heat up to high because we need this to start to fry down or bungee. We want all of the natural juices that the chicken is going to release to start drying up before we add any additional liquid to help it cook. So crank that heat high and you'll notice how all of the natural juices start coming out of the meat. Give it a mix. Make sure and keep your eye on it because it tends to stick pretty quickly and you don't want it to burn. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to check. You see all of those natural juices in there, how it's coming out. That's what you want. You want all of that to come out and then you want it to start evaporating and drying out. This is what adds a lot more flavor. So once it starts to dry out and it starts sticking to the bottom of the pot, here is where we go in with that additional liquid to help the chicken cook. You can add water or you can add chicken stock, a low sodium chicken broth. You don't want to add too much and you're going to nestle that chicken in and allow it to continue to cook. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. If the chicken pieces are cut very small, it's going to finish quicker. So once the chicken is ready, what you want to do is give it a good mix. Taste and adjust your salt and you guys see it, there's still a lot of sauce in there. How much liquid you put in here and how much you dry down depends on how much sauce you will get in the end. I love lots of sauce when I cook, so hence the reason why you'll see my dishes always contain lots of sauce. 
so this is finished all we have to do now is go ahead and plate this and i'm plating with some delicious jasmine rice i like curry it goes well with that soft jasmine rice how amazing does that look guys this Aptis curry is a very amazing, delicious, flavorful curry. You don't need to mix it with anything. That curry by itself adds tons of flavor to what you're cooking. So I'd leave the information to Aptis down in the description box. So click the down arrow for that box to open up. Thank you to Aptis for sponsoring today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't have Aptis and you can't find it, use a regular mild curry. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Continue to stay safe and I'll see you again. Bye.